Marseille's 24's Angela Diffley joins me now to talk a bit more about this trip. Uh, Angela, first of all, what's going on in Marseille? Well, uh, Marseille has historically had a bit of a drug problem. We all remember the famous film The French Connection. And in recent weeks, uh, problems have really spiked against the background of turf wars associated with drugs. A 14-year-old boy was killed recently, and there have been 15 murders related to drugs since the beginning of this year. So that is a historical problem which previous presidents have had little success in combating, but Macron will try again. There are other problems, and of course everything is interrelated. Social housing in Marseille is problematic. It has been, many people agree, uh, neglected. Um, schools also are in a state of disrepair, and there is a promise to renovate 200 of the 472 schools in Marseille. So Macron will be throwing a lot of money at this. Also transport. Marseille is twice the size of Paris, but has only two metro lines. So again, that's an area of local infrastructure which has been neglected. He's going to pump money into it. There's talk of hundreds of millions of dollars, of euros. There is also a nature element to this, a big nature congress on Friday. And of course, Marseille has beautiful fords nearby. Tell us a bit more about the timing. Can we read into anything why this is all happening right now? Yes. Well, as we mentioned, the big reason is uh, the elections are coming up uh, in uh, May. And much of the summer, the other political parties, the socialists, the uh, mainstream right, have spent a lot of the summer squabbling over who might represent them in those elections. Macron is keen to show that while they're squabbling amongst themselves, he's all about action. He is going to go down and try to do something significant for Marseille. Uh, obviously, as well, the fact that Marseille has been so much in the headlines over the summer is another factor. And the National Front has been making significant inroads, particularly in the north of Marseille, where a lot of the social problems are and a lot of the poverty is and a lot of the crime mm. is. The National Front, of course, that, that far right party. So now we're talking hundreds of millions of euros being thrown at this problem. Will it achieve anything? Well, Macron is not the first to do this. Pretty much every recent president in France has tried to address the problems of Marseille. It's a city with enormous potential. It is the fifth biggest port in Europe, the second biggest in the Mediterranean. But that port has had significant labour problems recently and trade union problems as well. So what are its potential strengths often turn out to be weaknesses. It is, of course, an enormously diverse city. It has a huge population of people who have roots in North Africa, who came over maybe in the 60s after Algerian independence. There's a significant Armenian population, Italian population. Recently, many people from the Comoros. So it has a very, it's a melting pot. It has a very, very rich potential, but uh, many problems. We'll see. He's going to throw a lot of money at it. And he's been criticised in the past for thinking that the solution to many problems is economic. And there are many people who say the problems of Marseille are much more deep-seated. Mm. Angela, thank you for that. Angela Diffley, 